Hey everyone, I want to share something with you that's been on my heart. Many of you know the struggles that I've had with PTSD and anxiety, and maybe some of you don't. Our 12-year-old son Tyson was born with severe congenital heart defects that required three life-saving open-heart surgeries by the time he was two. His first surgery was at 13 days old, his second one was at five months old, and his third one was just after his second birthday. Through many hospital stays and respiratory infections, being torn apart from my other children who basically lived with their grandparents, managing feeding tubes, um, a medication schedule that involves seven different medications, giving needles in his legs morning and evening, weighing him before and after every feed to make sure he was getting enough breast milk, multiple hospital stays due to, re due to respiratory infections, um, the kids never knowing if mom and dad were coming or going, it was a lot, a lot, a lot, so much for one family to handle. In 2016, I was diagnosed with PTSD and anxiety and I reached out for help because our family was suffering. You know that saying, when mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. I didn't like what was happening in our home. I had trauma that I needed to heal from. Anxiety of the future just crippled me and controlled my life. I share this because I know that there are others out there who are struggling too. Maybe you're struggling with your mental wellness, especially given the circumstances of this past year and a half. Maybe you're feeling lost, hopeless, helpless. Maybe you don't feel like life is worth living. If you need help, reach out to someone you trust. Find a reputable therapist that you can talk to. Take time to meditate on God's word. Go to him in prayer daily. Cast your fears on him. Release them to him. Cast your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Make sure you eat well. Eat clean, whole foods like fruits and vegetables and clean meats like poultry and fish. Reduce sugar, alcohol, and caffeine from your diet. Increase your water intake. Move your body every day. Take your whole food supplements. Diffuse your essential oils. And reach out if you need help. I share this because I want to be a spark of hope for others. Because I believe the future is bright.